Is it working? It seems to be working now. Yay! Oh, Switch died. Sure, died. Yeah. The FBI. Yeah. It was somebody from in the building. I know. I think it's I know who it was. I can't say, though. Thank you, Will. I Thank appreciate you. it. Yay, Will! There's more cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Will, Will, he's our man. If Will, he can't do Will. it, then we'll call Julio. That was good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. I will, I've known Will longer than most people in my life. Really? Yeah, 15 years. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? You've known him longer than you've known your daughter. Um. Yeah, that is true. Technically true, right? Technically true. It is back, everyone. Call, right? No? Yes? Yeah, you guys can call. Call in for Conspiracy Theory Thursday! Call in for Conspiracy Theory Thursday! Conspiracy Theory Thursday! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sloth. Oh, Sloth. I'm sorry, you're right. Chunk was the other guy. Was the kid, right? Yep. Where entertaining meets informative. This show makes the listener feel like it's my show. You make bad news sound good. Mark K for three hours a day. Loving it! This is the Mark K Show. 855-940-MARK is our number. 855-940-6275. And this is the part of the program that we've dedicated for your conspiracy theory. You know what happened was people would just call us up. Like as soon as we got in here Monday and we started broadcast. Where are you? Oh, Hannah's leaving. Where are you going? I'm getting Nassar hats. Oh, Hannah's good. I thought it was like, you're not leaving till the end of the day. You've oh. still got another 30 minutes. Uh, but anyway, we, what happened was people would just call in Monday morning first thing or Monday afternoon first thing with their conspiracy theories and then tuesday we would get more of them and then on wednesday oh my gosh it was sometimes whatever you want wednesday was just conspiracy theories so we thought since this is something that's very popular and that people are concerned with a lot and think about a lot we should dedicate an entire an entire portion of the show so we uh we petitioned the fcc and we went in and we said we'd like to allocate a certain plot of the show yeah. Uh, you know, it's um, it's what do you call it? Like um, parcel 42 B. Right. And that's the Thursday at 230 Eastern, uh, 130 Central time slot. And we'd like to make that. We'd like to dedicate that to Conspiracy Theory Thursday. We had to go to committee. There was a whole presentation. We had to get like a petition. Sign. It was horrible. Yeah. Uh, but finally, we got it done. And what happened in the end was we were able to create Conspiracy Theory Thursday. Now, to make it even more exciting, we've gamified it. We sure have. Yeah, what we've done is we've not only given you the opportunity to share your conspiracy theory, but we've only given you 30 seconds. And while you're thinking to yourself, that's that's easy. For a lot of people, it's difficult. And we also make you uh, try your best to be make it entertaining and informative and exciting to listen to. If at any time you lose our attention or we doubt the validity of your conspiracy theory or it's just one that's been rehashed over and over, you could get buzzed. If you get buzzed three times... Then you're out. If you, uh, that was four times, Hannah. He didn't bu I buzzed twice. Don't worry, oh, Morgan. Oh, got it. We're anyway, good. then you're out. And uh, if you get buzzed four times, you can never call again. If that's yeah. like new. Uh, then what happened a couple weeks ago was we realized that these conspiracy theories, a lot of them, hit really close to home for some of our friends in the government. And by friends, I mean people that want to do us harm. So we've re we've adopted now the code name rule. And you not only have to call in with your conspiracy theory limited to 30 seconds, but you must also provide a code name so that the people listening at the upper echelons of the government, the people listening at the inner, uh, you know, offices of the of the FBI and the CIA and wherever else they happen to be tuned into, uh, we want to make sure that they don't have any way of tracking you. Um, so if you have a great conspiracy theory and a code name, 
Give us a buzz right now, 855-940-MARK. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time once again for Conspiracy Theory Thursday. It's Conspiracy Theory Thursday. Turn out the lights, cover the windows, put on your tinfoil hat, and call the Mark K Show now, 855-940-MARK. By the way, I would like to point out a little conspiracy theory of my own. Oh, yeah? Speaking of our friends in the government who despise what we do and want to stop us at all costs. Yes. Just moments before we began Conspiracy Theory Thursday, an internet switch in the control room, quote unquote, died. Yeah. And our yeah. internet, all of our streaming, the thousands and thousands of people who access this program online were shut out. Yeah. Minutes, minutes before Conspiracy Theory Thursday. Ridiculous. We were able with our crack staff to get everything back up and running, but it seems weird to me that of all the times for a switch to die, uh, to get Clinton, if you will, it happened right before right before Conspiracy Theory Thursday. All right, you guys ready? Let's uh, let's get our first one up here. Let's go to um let's go to Mike DeWine's parody account. <laughs> Which Lovely. Is a, that is a great that is a great code name. Uh, Mike DeWine's parody account. How are you? I'm doing good. I'll have to behave or else PayPal might find me $25,000. <laughs> that's 100%. I think that's going to run. So it's going to happen. All right. Uh, here we go. Mike DeWine's parody account. On your mark. K show. Get set. Go. Well, with uh, Elon Musk cleaning out Twitter and cleaning out all the bots, all the um, people that when you click like for something, and they send you the hello handsome uh, text messages or DMs. Well, they're going to be out of a job soon too. And to counter that, we have Liz Cheney and Adam Kinziger, who are gainfully unemployed in a couple months now. They're going to have to take over and pick up the slack for all these uh, people that don't have any followers. So if you click like on Trump, watch out, you're going to get a message from Liz Cheney. Wow, that was wow. really, really good. Hold on though. Mike DeWine's parody account, I have a quick question. Are you telling me that when somebody writes me back, hello, handsome, how are you, that's not a real girl who thinks I'm good looking? <laughs> well, in my um, in my experience, I would say no. I oh. believe it's totally catfish. Oh, man. All right. Hey. Oh, man. I, I did get smished earlier this week. You sure did. <laughs> yeah. So I... <laughs> Smished. At least, uh, at least Christopher Ruddy, CEO of Newsmax, didn't write me and say, "Hey, handsome, how you doing?" What if he did? That would have been weird. Eight five five nine four zero Mark is our number. Eight five five nine four zero six two seven five. Jake from Prudential, how you doing? Doing great. Isn't it Jake from State Farm? Yeah. He's wearing khakis. Oh, I got it. Jake from and okay. a red shirt. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, Jake from Prudential. Do you have a conspiracy theory you'd like to share with us? I do. All right. We're going to give you 30 seconds. On your mark. K-Show. Get set. Go. Yeah, a couple of thoughts on Hannah going out of town tomorrow. You know, she's a, she developed quite a speaking ability herself with Susie, Susie's Hot Topics. She's very good on her own. She's been losing weight. She's looking good. Here's what I think is going on. I think she's been invited down to Orlando to WDBO. I think Josh set it up. She's going to interview <laughs> for a radio spot down there in Orlando. <laughs> and if that comes to pass. If that comes to pass, Jay is going to be a new executive producer and a new call screener will be Susie from Middleburg. Oh. <laughs> that was a perfect 30 wow. seconds. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. Wow. Wait a minute. Where are you going tomorrow? Destin. Isn't Orlando on the way to Destin? I don't think so. Mm. I thought it was like, isn't that like near the, I don't know where Destin is. I it just said five hours away. Jake from Prudential. I'm going to, thank you for, thank you for, <laughs> for enlightening me to I what. I don't think Orlando's on the way, is it? You know. I don't think it's south. Now it's you're, south? now you're just trying to. That's all I want to do is get stabbed in the back. Skirt the issue. Okay. The first wound is just beginning to heal. Now I have to go look at Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should probably know where the hell you're going. 855 mark is our number. This is July 4th. Hello, July july 4th how are you i'm great how are you mark oh doing really great doing really great thanks so much for asking july 4th are you ready with your conspiracy theory yes sir here we go i believe oh hold that. on wait. we're gonna we're gonna count you in we're gonna count you in with hannah while she's still here uh oh it's on, not on the way by the way on your mark <laughs> get set go i think hillary clinton right now is tipping off the american people that they're going to cheat again in this election because she is claiming the Republicans are going to cheat. Is she tipping us off or not in her own disturbed mind? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> I'm buzzing you for time, but I thought it was a brilliant conspiracy theory, and I love how you uh, described you. her mind is disturbed. So what you're, what if I'm if I'm understanding this correctly? When she releases video, hello, Indivisibles. I'm here to highlight something that <laughs> is keeping me up at night. Yeah, and then she went on to describe how the coup is already being planned. Literally, they're going to steal the election in 2024. You think she's basically saying that means we are going to steal the election and blame it on the Republicans? Well, yes. Yeah, I think and that's... Because I've heard her say that the Republicans are going to steal the election this time. Yeah, I think that's so. genius. I think you're on to something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, July 4th, thank you so much for calling. We appreciate it. 855-940-MARK. And I love your fireworks. Uh, this is G-Money. <laughs> G-Money, what's up? How are you? Hey, how you guys doing? I'm really sorry to hear it's Hannah's last day. Oh, my I know, that's gosh. <laughs> I am not leaving. Also, Destin is not anywhere near Orlando. That's all right. You'll be able to hear her starting Monday on WDBO oh at noon. Oh, my gosh. No, you are lying. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> all right, uh, right G-Money, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. On your mark. Okay, show. Get set. Go. Well, you know, the Democrats have been trying to convince us that it's possible for a man to have a baby and it appears they now have their proof. After DNA testing, it's been confirmed that John Fetterman's actually the illegitimate child born of a gay relationship between Herman Munster and Uncle Fester. <laughs> and so if the DNA testing wasn't enough, they stuck a light bulb in his mouth and sure enough, it lit up. <laughs> so uh, all you male baby having haters out there can just shut the hell up. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's... Oh, you made it. That was, that was very... That was very... Hey, thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much for the call. 855-940. Mark Sully. Yes. Is that your code name? It's what they call me in the military. Oh, okay. All right, good. Well, don't tell us anymore. Don't tell us. We don't need to know that you're former military. You've already said too much. Sully, <laughs> no you are going to have 30 seconds with which to share your conspiracy theory. Are you ready? I am. Here we go. On your mark. Okay, show. Get set. Go. So in the Bible... Whenever God cast Satan, he didn't cast Satan to hell. He banished Satan to the earth. That's what's going on on the planet right now is the fact that we have so much division, so much. If you're not, if you're not for every vaccine, you're against all vaccines. If you're not for complete abortion, you're against all abortion. This is just a devising technique to separate people, make each other hate each other. So whenever God is brought back, which does seem like it's going to happen, that um, the devil will have his huge army ready to either take over or join him in hell. I was very man. My priest would be very ex excited about that conspiracy theory. In fact, I think that was I think that was actually a sermon the other day. Hey, thanks so much for the call. We appreciate. Wait, that may have been Father Father David. Eight David? five <laughs> eight five five nine four zero. Mark is our number. Listen, we got to take a quick break, but we'll get you more of your conspiracy theories lined up. If you've got a good one, if you've got a bad one, if you've got any of them, give us a buzz. Eight five five nine four zero. Mark. Quick break. We will be right back. So good. Um, also, yeah. also, also. Brenna's conspiracy theory. Yeah. She said, I have a conspiracy. If anyone wants to throw it out today, people with the most land and money and in high political positions for good back then were called witches, like during the Salem witch trials. Yeah. Uh, were called witches. So the accusers could steal their food, goods, and land, and in some cases, turn their homes into places that people would spend money on. And because they hate, sorry, and because they hated them, they knew they could say which, and they'd be outnumbered. Also, many churches and Freemason places now occupy them. Interesting. Mm. That was a good conspiracy. That was good. Right? Good call in. Guys, I'm not leaving. Stop it. <laughs> April, you saw bedazzled meat? Mm. <laughs> what? Is that like steak with uh, little crystals on it? Where did he get this picture of Jay? B. Crespin, where did you find this photo of Jay? I was wondering the same thing. It's so, it's so funny. <coughs> oh, COVID. What? This looks great. What do you think? Oh, okay, good. I love that, yeah. All right, good. I should probably put the logo on it somewhere. That looks really great.
<laughs> the Crossman says Hannah needs to provide me with more pics. I feel like it looks good. What? For like I assume for photoshopping. I love this. I think it looks I great. think it looks amazing. That looks really great. Wait, what's 2022? Yeah, it's 2022. I'm going to save this. Because you know what I typically don't do? Mm -hmm. Save stuff. True. And then the next, fo like the following year, I'm like, oh, where's that thing I had last year? And I'm like, oh, I didn't save it. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Oh, Sharon Lindsay says, Raphael, my Mastiff, has his foil hat on. Oh, good. Oh. Lovely. All right, how much time do we have left? Uh, 52 seconds. That, that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> no Nate Co Covenay, no Karen today. Oh, what did you? Oh, wait. Yeah. Did she ever send a happy birthday? <laughs> was it like, happy you, birthday, you, you stink? You didn't hear any of those ones Hold that on. I sent you this morning? I didn't, I didn't get her. I forgot about them. You didn't send uh, them to me. You did. You sent them to me. Oh. What are you, you're leaving. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm leaving for tomorrow and coming back Monday. Stop this. Goodness. <laughs> Show. My name is Mark K. 855 Mark is our number. 855 Mark. That's M A R K, by the way, not M A R C. Mark. Mark. <laughs> there's this place. There's a, there's this pizza restaurant I order from all the time, and every time I call, they say, "But can I have a name for the order?" I go, "Mark," and they go, "With a K or a C?" I go, "With a K." Obviously. And then also, I like I make the same order every week, and they still ask me the same question. So yeah, obviously, it's the same guy that always calls. Yeah. Eight five five nine four zero Mark is on. See now I want pizza. Eight five five nine four zero Mark. Let's go to Scott. Scott, is this a? Uh, oh, by the way, Scott. Hello. Thanks so much for calling. Is Scott your code name? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. I like it. All right, Scott. Oh, let me put my hat back on my head, Hannah. Oh, yep. Tin foil hat. Hey, yep. Jay, you got your tin foil hat in there? I sure do. All right, yep. hang on one second, Scott. Oh, well, let me uh, let me count you in here. We're going to give you 30 seconds for Conspiracy Theory Thursday. On your mark. K show. Get set. Go. Some years ago, a friend of mine got a parking ticket in downtown Columbus, Ohio. He called up the mayor, got the mayor on the phone, and said, Mayor, you said that you were going to uphold the Constitution. Is that not right? He said, yeah, that's right. That's what I'm going to do. He, he said, well, look. Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution says the state shall make no thing payable in care of debt uh, other than gold and silver coins. And the mayor hung up on him and he never did have to pay. <laughs> so. That was good. I like that one. That was good. That was like a, that was like a dad conspiracy thing. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much for the call. This is Polar Pop. Hi, Polar Pop. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing well uh, as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Polar Pop, we're going to give you 30 seconds for your conspiracy theory. If you hear three buzzes, you're done for. If not, you're good to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your mark. Kate Kate. Oh, buzz. Look at that. Ew. I figured I, right. I, I got to start doing it. You right. should probably start practicing what since it's that? Santa's last day. 
I can do it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> On your mark. K show. Get set. <laughs> Go. All right, so we're all familiar with technology companies like Microsoft when they put out a product and they update it later, so they just deal with the bugs. So the theory is that Joe Biden, John Fetterman are actually alien bots, <laughs> and the aliens have not taken the time to debug their systems and update their <laughs> operating system. So now we're seeing all the glitches take place. Yeah. And now even with Katy Perry the other night, now we got another example. So, um, you know, so that is uh, – that's the thing. I'm unfamiliar. What happened with Katie with Alien Katy Perry? What happened with her? Oh, you didn't see her eyeball glitch? No. No. Oh, what? you gotta look that up, man. Oh. Everybody's saying she's a robot now. Oh, what I wouldn't I wouldn't her that, eye started glitching in the middle of a concert. I wouldn't really doubt weird. it at all. Hey, thanks. That's a great one. I love that. Thanks so much for calling that. John Fetterman is a an alien robot, and they just need to update his uh his use his um what do you call it iOS. Hi. Good night, everybody. Uh oh. <laughs> Good night. Download, reboot, control, alt, delete. Uh, eight eight five five nine four zero. Mark is our number. Eight five five nine four zero six two seven five. Mister Wonderful, what's up, Mister Wonderful? Yes, uh, I am all ready to let you uh, have it. Oh, well, it'll, like, hold on. <laughs> Bring it on. All right, wait, hold on. we got to count them in. On your mark. K-Show. Get set. Go. Yes, on each car that's sold nowadays, there is a radio station that you can get that has no ads, and it's based in Washington, D.C., and it's uh, tracing your car location Wherever you go and knows when you stop and when you go and where you're at 24 hours a day where your car is. And if you wish to prove this, all you need to do is put aluminum foil over your antenna and they will send you a letter in the mail describing your car and VIN number and your address and phone number. And, and what, that's, what does the letter that's say? Funny. It says that the advertisement for the radio, which uh, when you put the foil over it, it makes it look as if you've turned off the ability for them to track you. And they want you to get that station uh, so that they can track you all the time. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Wonderful. That's a really, I like that conspiracy theory a lot. The secret spy radio station that they use to track you wherever you are that you can shut off merely by wrapping your antenna with tinfoil. Couple of questions. If you wrap your antenna with tinfoil, does that not knock out all of the other radio stations that you may want to listen to, like the k Radio well, Network radio stations that air the Mark K Show? On my Ranger, it, there's an antenna on the roof that's separate from the antenna that the actual radio is yeah. connected to. And if you cover the antenna that's on the roof, it will shut off the the secret spy radio. The, 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 the tracer on yeah. your car. All right. But you can still get the regular radio. All right, great. Mr. Wonderful. See, that, thank you so much. On my truck, the antenna is built into the windshield. So if I wanted to get rid, I would have to cover my entire windshield with tinfoil. Hmm. And I feel like that might be. Were you going to buzz me just now? No. Oh, it looked like you were going to buzz me. <laughs> No, I put my buzzer over. There. Why we're not done yet? We got more conspiracy theories. I just thought it would have more impact if I like oh. got to. Uh, really this hard. is Flea Flicker. Hi, Flea Flicker. How are you? Good night. <laughs> great. Hi. Good night, everybody. Uh, Flea Flicker. Real quick, uh, we're gonna count you in here. You got about thirty seconds left in the show, so on your mark. K show. Get set. Go. All right. It's well known the Bushes knew of the Obamas when he was a child, so. Once he got into law and everything, they seen the opportunity to set him up for president, and now they've lost more control of him, more or less, and couldn't get Liz Cheney to go back in there and try to help fix it. They pushed her out, and she's out the door now, just so they could help prop up China, Iraq, and Russia. Yeah. So they have all these people... Yeah, that, no, that sounds, again, like, that sounds pretty good. Hey, thanks so much for the call. We really appreciate it. Uh, folks, join us tomorrow. Hannah won't be here anymore. But I will be on Monday. Have a good... <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Listen, so bro, I, I control my mic. That was so funny. <laughs> uh, and when I edit the podcast, that's the very last thing you're going to hear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, who's going to edit the podcast tomorrow?
Chase. I am. Okay, good. I'm That's, teaching him today after the yeah. show. All right, fun fact. Fun fact, you guys. I will see you on Monday. Don't believe